Good morning, everybody from Southwick. We are out here, it's Sunday morning, and we are super pumped to take you with us today for a private track training session. Pat got a call from one of his good friends from back in the day in the MSC district, and he said that he rented the track for the day, and him and a bunch of guys were going out riding, and he asked if Pat wanted to come, so obviously we said yes. So we are here, we just arrived, and yeah, we're gonna take you guys with us. So two years ago, Pat and I went to the Southwick National to watch, and now we are here. Two years later, Pat's about to go out on the track. So Pat, how are you feeling about getting to ride at Southwick? I am so pumped. Um, it's been a bucket list item for me for a really long time. I, you know, just been watching Southwick on TV. I've had a lot of good friends that have uh, raced here and qualified, and I've always wanted to kind of like see what this was. Southwick is one of those tracks it's very unique obviously to the nationals because it's all all sand probably the roughest track on the circuit and nesc and a lot of like the the people who are local to here they just kind of like they're a different breed and they show up to our district and they usually put a hurting on on a good majority of us and like there's like just uh you kind of have to really be tough to ride this track and i've always wanted to see what it was like and kind of ride some of the lines that a lot of my heroes have ridden and i'm just honored really to be here so i'm like beyond excited to get out there and uh see what southwick is all about I don't even know what to say honestly it was just kind of like beyond grateful for what I feel like is like a once in a lifetime but hopefully I get to do it again experience the track is insane it's already rough and kind of like ruddy but it's been so long since I've ridden actual sand that it took me a couple laps to remember like what to do I used to love the sand at our local tracks at Southwoods in Monticello and uh, so this is like Right now, very, very similar, but it's just gonna keep getting more rough and everything. I'm just having an ab absolute blast. We're, I think we're running the full national track, um, and it's gnarly, so fun. Just big G outs and drop offs and whoops, and it's like so sick, so pumped to be here and focus on what we're focusing on. And honestly, this is like fun. This one's fun. So we're training, and 
we're getting our motos in and but like this is i'm having fun so i'm pumped to be here we started this channel a little over a year ago today and i don't think either one of us had any idea like what would happen when we started it like the fact that in under a year pat has been able to ride bud's creek high point red bud loretta lynn's and now southwick like basically on a day where there's no one else here running the full national track it's just like insane the amount of stuff we have done in a year and it all kind of started with us just like saying yes to opportunities that have come our way and so if you're someone who like wants to do this just go for it like and by the way, we have no idea how we're going to do any of this stuff beforehand. Like we act on basically a delusional level of faith and trust. And we don't have like the money usually when we say yes to it. We just kind of like say yes and figure it out as we go. Um, but it's been so worth it because we both feel like we have like lived the last year of life so much more than in years past. One more session. Super exciting. Do you have anything to say? Then I'm also super excited. Nope, just gonna do one more session and kind of like get the heart rate going and uh, get a good workout in, enjoy the track, and get ready for the next round at uh, Orange County. All right.
This is so cool, you guys. Pet's literally the only bike out on the track right now. He has the entire Southwick track literally to himself. So how does it feel to know that you rode Southwick as the only bike out on the track? That was pretty cool the way that worked out. Um, there's about 25, I think, or 26 people here, and you can just kind of come and go as you like. So I was out there and just kind of like doing my motos, chugging along, and then I guess everyone on their own kind of timing pulled off, and there was a period of time for a couple laps where I was the only bike uh, on the track. So yes, it felt like I was playing my video game at home uh, when I was a kid. Uh, so it was awesome. Super glad that I got to come here. Uh, we got to come here and uh, put some laps in here. I have the utmost respect for all, all the people out this way. NESC, everybody riding the sand. Massachusetts, you guys are no joke. It makes quite a bit of sense to me why you kind of can travel around and just win anywhere. So this is like where we have to do the work and where we have to train. So again, just grateful to be here. Happy to ride the track. The bike was uh, a blast. and. Uh, Hopefully they do it again next year and we get uh, asked back because I'd love to come back. Yeah, so hopefully we'll be back at Southwick again. We have three more rounds of MSC left for this year and then we're going to start planning the schedule for the 2025 Loretta Lynn's run. Woo! So like this video, subscribe to our channel if you want to follow along on the journey with us. Bye. We'll see you next time.